guys, Chef Carl here. Hope you guys are doing all good. Uh, welcome to our practical online session um, where I'm going to take you through and show you how to make a smoked chicken mousse with Malbar toast with a nice citrus and chive vinaigrette. Let's get started. Okay, first is get our mise en place all ready. Okay, so as you can see here, I've weighed up all my ingredients, got it all nice and prepared. I got the moulds that I want to be serving my mousse in. And, uh, at Tech, we're going to use moulds like this called Dario moulds. Okay, they just work a bit easier, but I got these at home so we can have a look at both. Alright guys, let's have a look at our ingredients. So I've got my cream already and I'm going to soft whip that. I haven't got powdered gelatine, I've got leaf gelatine, which is even better. Okay, so make sure you weigh it so you don't, um, you know, wreck your recipe. I usually aim for sort of two to two and a half grams of leaf gelatine. Um, it is per leaf. So say you need 10 grams in the book, you're probably going to be looking at around three to four of these um, leaves. Okay, what we want to do also is um, soften this. Okay, because it's a bit hard to get this nice and um, into our mousse. So we want to be able to bloom it. Okay, it's a real important technical term, blooming. Okay, so I'm going to pop it in cold gelatine there and I'm just going to let it soak for a couple of minutes and it's just going to be nice and soft and pliable so when we come back you'll be able to have a look at it so just keep it in cold water not hot water what we're doing is blooming it okay and then I got my little bit of water that I'm going to melt my gelatine in I got my mayonnaise my paprika and my cayenne my Worcestershire sauce got a little bit of paprika for dusting for our plate up I've got me a little chai vinaigrette, an orange, and I've got some lovely Valare uh, grain bread that we'll use our Malbar toast with. We usually use it with uh, white bread, but we're going to make a nice um, little crostini uh, Malbar toast with our big on walnut here. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our chicken mousse all ready, nice and easy. So what we've done is we've started blooming our gelatine, now is how it's starting to soften up now so let's just leave that in the cold water for a bit longer okay we've got our smoked chicken here we're going to place into the blender and get our mayonnaise place it into the blender as well and we want to blend it till it's nice and smooth it into our sieve and we're going to pass it because we want to get out any any connective tissue and we want it to be nice and smooth okay get our base here pass it through our sieve drum sips, nice smooth get so far and then you just want to scrape and get that out good okay and you just want to push a little bit through at a time let's carry on now we've passed our chicken mousse as you can see here look at that nice and smooth now we want to add our um, citrus juice our Worcestershire our cayenne and our paprika dry sauce it's also going to pop in with our chicken mousse mix. Okay, now we've got our cayenne and paprika. Pop that in. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. Okay, have a look at this. This is our gelatine. That's it nice and soft there. I'm going to squeeze that out, squeeze out any excess, and then I'm just going to pop it in my small amount of water, I think it says the 60 mils of water, and then I'm just going to pop that in the microwave for 30 seconds so it mounts, and then I can add it into my chicken mousse. Gelatine is mounted nicely. 
a little stir, make sure it's fully dissolved into our liquid. Cool. Pour this into our chicken mousse mix. Let's mix that around. I'm gonna get that nice and smooth. Fold this in three at a time. Okay, here's our soft whipped cream. We pop a little bit in. Third at a time, so we want to retain as much of our aeration as possible. Taste, make sure it's Season. Now we're going to put them into the mould and we want to chill them for two hours. Okay, have a look. It's a nice thick consistency. I'm just going to pour that into our mousse mould. Just lightly fold that in. that covered and chilled for one to two hours. Go. I want to show you the plate up of this dish. I think it's um, it's a good little good little entree dish to have a play with. Um, check our mousse, see how nice and smooth it is. Okay, so we peeled the bottom off. That's fine. Okay, we're just going to warm our hands around the edge of it. You can even get a hot knife just to go around around the edge okay and just slightly take it off you don't want to dig out it should just come out just nicely just like that we've got ourselves a little bit of paprika and we can make ourselves a little little stencil just so we can add a little bit of a little bit of texture to the plate so we put a little bit of tin foil on Just a little bit of paprika. This is a bit of a 1980s technique. We used to dust it around the edge of the plate and make our food look good, but we don't really do that anymore. Okay, so we just got it nice and simple. Just like that. Get our fists nice. Okay, and we just want to off-center it just slightly. Okay, we don't want it perfect on the center. Our oranges here. Keep them nice and juicy. Okay, we can place a couple on top, look nice, just like maybe three, I think that'll put a little, little one down there. Got our vinaigrette, a little few chives on the top, a little bit of vinaigrette just to help it. And here's our Malbar toast, but we're not doing Malbar toast, we're just doing like a almost like a crostini, a Malbar toast is white bread toasted both sides and then we cut it so it's extra thin and then we crispy it up again. What I'm using here is just a fig and walnut loaf from Valare, one of our awesome local um, bakeries. Um, but I think the fig and walnut will go exceptionally well with the smoked chicken and the, and the citrus. So we're just going to pop in here with a couple of little segments here. So here's our little crunch factor. Of our dish too. Four. Okay, put them in the corner and then let's get ourselves a nice little bit of herb. Here's a garnish. That guys, so have a look at that. Here's our nice lovely smoked chicken mousse with a segment orange and chive salsa with our Malbar toast or a fig and walnut crostini. Have a look at that.